Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address the nation at 10 a.m. tomorrow, likely to announce decision with regard to extension of the corona lockdown. No additional positive case has been reported for last 14 days in 25 districts in 15 states, says Health Ministry official in daily briefing. Indian Council of Medical Research says a total of 1,95,748 samples have been tested so far for COVID-19. Lockdown place spoils port in Rongali Bihu celebration across Assam. And in Meghalaya, all the 60 MLAs decided to don donate 10% of their salary for a year to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. Good evening viewers, welcome to the Notice News Bulletin. This is Monjui. Now with the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the nation at 10 a.m. tomorrow. He is likely to announce the decision with regard to extension of the corona lockdown on this occasion. PM Modi had spoken to Chief Ministers via video conference last Saturday where several states requested him to extend the lockdown for two more weeks. Modi said that there seems to be a consensus among the states on extension of lockdown by another two weeks. PM Modi had held similar interaction with the Chief Ministers via video conferencing earlier on 20th March and 2nd of April. A 21-day complete lockdown of the entire nation was announced on March 24th last. PM Modi has already held talks with leaders of various political parties on 8 of this month as well as with different stakeholders to seek their views and support to contain the spread of COVID-19. No additional positive case has been reported for last 14 days in 25 districts of 15 states due to the efforts of frontline workers and official in Ministry of Health and Family Welfare said today while briefing the media. As many as 796 confirmed cases of novel coronavirus or COVID-19 have been reported in the country in the last 24 hours, taking the total number to 9,152. Out of this total cases, 800 57 patients have recovered and were discharged from the hospitals while 308 patients have died. A core strategy group has been formed in CSIR based on a detailed review of COVID-19 research. He said the strategy group is working on digital and molecular surveillance, rapid and economical diagnostics and new drugs and associated production processes. Mani Pradhan Mantri Ji ne kaha hai ki jaan bhi hai, jahan bhi hai. Aur unki hai call is also backed by action. 10 April tak Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojna ke package ke tahet ab tak 30 crore se adhik garib logo ko COVID-19 ke karan huye lockdown ke prabhav se sambandit bachane ke liye support ke liye 28,256 crore rupay ki financial assistance pradhan ki gai hai. This includes Support to 19.86 crore Jandan Yojna women account holders, Jinko ki 9,930 crore rupee transfer kiye gaye hain. Saathi PM Kisan Yojna ke tahet 6.93 crore farmers ko karib 13,855 crore rupee transfer kiye gaye hain. Isi tarike se social assistance program ke tahet 2.82 crore widows, senior citizens. Global COVID-19 positive cases have been rising in the last 24 hours with U.S. which continues to top the chart of COVID-19 positive cases. New York City, the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States, now alone has over 1 lakh novel coronavirus cases. According to the official data, this is more than the confirmed cases in China and the United Kingdom. According to the data from the New York City government, increase of 5,690 
195 cases yesterday put New York City's total number of coronavirus infections at over 1,4410 as of 12th of April and 27,676 hospitalizations. The United States has 5,57,300 cases and over 22,000 people have died so far. Globally, the number of COVID-19 cases is over 1.8 million and 1,14,185 people have died from the disease. More than 1,89,000 cases have been reported in New York State, the hardest hit state in the United States and the death toll now stands at 9,385. Indian Council of Medical Research has said that a total of 1,95,748 samples have been tested so far for COVID-19. Yesterday, 15,583 samples were tested. ICMR has scaled up its testing facilities by giving approval to 156 government laboratories and tree collection centers. In addition, 68 private laboratory chains have also been given approval to conduct the testing for COVID-19. ICMR is expanding its COVID-19 testing facilities in all parts of the country. It has devised its augmented plan to fast-track the COVID-19 testing laboratory. The plan includes proactive search of potential laboratories which could be enabled for COVID-19 testing. It also includes inviting applications from all eligible private and government medical colleges. The plan states that as part directives of Home Affairs and Health and Family Welfare Minister, a core team under Director All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi, Director and Director General ICMR, a total of 14 centers of excellence have been designated. The union government is well prepared to tackle the possible exponential rise in COVID-19 cases. The government is focusing on strengthening infrastructure and surveillance as part of the strategy to manage COVID-19 positive cases. Briefing media in New Delhi, the health ministry representative said that based on the discussions at the level of health minister and home minister, work is on an urgent basis to expand capacity for COVID-19 testing in government and private medical colleges across the country. Listing out several measures, the health ministry representative said, the center is well prepared to deal with the situation and 1,5,000 beds are ready in the dedicated 601 COVID hospitals. The situation regarding essential commodities is under control. In the Home Ministry control room, officials of Ministers of Civil Aviation, Consumer Affairs and Railways have been working in coordination with states to resolve logistic problems. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Honual today visited a quarantine camp in Baksa district of the state. The 50-bedded quarantine camp was developed at the district sports project. Talking to media, Sonual said that social distance maintaining is the key in the fight against COVID-19. He appealed to the people of the state to light an Arden lamp in each house on first day of Asmis month of Bohag and pray to God for the well-being of people of the state in the current situation. Rajya Sabha MP Vishwajit Doimari, Senior Minister of Assam Cabinet Chandra Mohan Patwari, Rihan Doimari, two BTC EMs and top officials of the district accompanied the chief minister in the quarantine camp visit. Assam Health Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma today said one more COVID-19 positive case has been detected in Assam. The latest COVID-19 positive case has travel history of Nizamuddin Markaj. The new COVID-19 positive patient has been admitted at the Mohendra Mohan Chaudhary Hospital in Guwahati. The Assam Health and Family Welfare Minister informed media that 91 crore 25 lakh 60 thousand rupees have been deposited in Assam Aragyanidhi. He said that this donation from people and different institutions will be spent for medical facilities development to fight the COVID-19 situation. Later in the afternoon, Sharma visited a quarantine camp developed at the Horu Hajai Stadium. Sharma distributed appointment letters to 40 medical in the same function. Kamro Metro Deputy Commissioner Bishwajit Pegu said that the administration is fully geared up to meet the COVID-19 situation in the district's quarantine camp.
पैंत बस एखेत धुबुर केस हिस्ट्री अनुसरी एक व्यक्तिगी एयर एसिया फ्लैट एक तारिखे गुवाहाटी एक दिन चार बजा तक धुबुर बासे गईगे बस तारिखे धुबुर बड़ बजार ग्रसारी शपिंग कारण आम टीम गम पाए दिल्ली ट्रेभल हिस्ट्री आम कटाइन रखार परमर्श दूँ सत तारिखे कटाइन थका समय This is Guru Bihu, the first day of Rongali Bihu celebration in Assam where cows are washed and worshipped. The tradition of cattle ride is the same as that followed by boros in Visago indicating the common root of both the festivals. Coronavirus pandemic has played spoils both in this year's Rongali Bihu celebration. Since last week, authorities have been issuing diligent reminders about how to celebrate Bihu during COVID-19 with proper social distancing norms. In another bid to get their message across to the masses the assam police released a covid-19 bihu awareness campaign video as early as march 20 before the nationwide lockdown was announced 26 bihu committees across the state decided not to hold cultural stage programs an important part of the bihu festivities especially in urban areas the rongali bihu coincides the assamese new year as well as with other regions of indian subcontinent east asia and southeast asia which follows hindu calendar and both the buddhist calendar people of assam celebrate the rongali bihu with feast music and dancing Assam Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi greeted the people of Assam on the occasion of Rongali Bihu and Assamese New Year Governor Bai Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal also greeted the people of the state on the occasion of Rongali Bihu Rongali Bihu ka tyohar आनंद और खुशहाली का प्रतीक है कृषि आधारित इस त्यौहार में असम की गौरवशाली परंपरा की झलक दिखाई देती है वर्तमान में कोरोना वायरस महामारी के कारण सभी सामाजिक उत्सवों व कार्यक्रम जतियों जीवन आटक मरम उत्सव रंगाली आज दिन तो गुरु विहु हिसाब से राइजे उद्यान करहकालिया नतुन बस आरम्भ हम गए मैं बरक ब्रह्मपुत्र पहाड़ भयाम समूह राइज नवबर्ष उपलक्षे रंगाली विहुर उपलक्षे आंतरिक शुभे और श्रद्धा ज्ञापन कर ईश्वर ऊपर प्रार्थना जाना नतुन बसरे व्यक्ति सुस्थ सबल All the 60 MLAs of the state have decided to contribute 10% of their salary for a year to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. The Speaker had convened a meeting with the Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong and Leader of Opposition Dr. Mukul Sangma to discuss on their contributions to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. Lindo informed that with effect from April 1, 10% of their salary will be contributed to the CMS Relief Fund. The speaker also said that all the MLAs from various party lines, including leader of opposition Dr. Mukul Sangma, have come together and decided to donate their 10% salary willingly. Lindo later thanked the people of the state for their cooperation and said that the success of the entire episode is full cooperation and participation of the people of the state. Amid the COVID-19 outbreak and the subsequent imposition of lockdown and curfew by the government to combat the same, the Mete community today celebrated Sajibu Cheroba, which is a grand festival celebrated by the Manipuris mainly by the Mete community on the month Sajibu of Manipur lunar calendar to mark the beginning of a new year. However, pertaining to COVID-19 outbreak, the festival was celebrated in Loki. This time, sharing of different delicious cooked for the day among the neighbors were not seen. This time, unlike before. 
Good news for the tea industry. Tea gardens in some districts of Assam, including Jorhat, started operating from Saturday last, April 11, after the 21 days lockdown announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on March 25 to contain the spread of COVID-19. As part of the order made by the Jorhat District Administration, tea gardens shall operate with maximum 50% workforce on roster basis. Movement of tea workers is restricted within the tea garden. Speaking to Didi News, manager of Greenview Tea Estate, Dhrubaju Tea Bortakur, said the garden is completely following the COVID-19 protocol and proper care of the workers has been taken. There is a great sigh of relief to the tea workers as they are taken back again after many days. These workers are maintaining hygiene and social distancing while plucking leaves or working in the factories. The opening of tea gardens in Assam will be seen as an important step to slowly revive the economy at a time where there are serious challenges in the economic scale where health concerns and livelihood in the state. The state's first COVID-19 patient from Thang Meiban, who has now fully recovered, was discharged from Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, JNIMS, on Sunday. Three doctors and three nurses who were directly engaged in treating the young woman who has been studying in the United Kingdom were tested for COVID-19 and all of them turned out to be negative. JNIMS Director Dr. T. H. Bhimo told to DD News that the woman was discharged on Sunday evening after samples tested negative for COVID-19 in the last three successive tests. The woman discharged was delayed for some days as she expressed desire to stay at the hospital for a few more days even as the hospital authority thought she was fit for discharge. Before we wind up the bulletin, a recap of the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address the nation at 10 a.m. tomorrow, likely to announce decision with regard to extension of the corona lockdown. No additional positive case has been reported for last 14 days in 25 districts and 15 states, says Health Ministry official in daily briefing. Indian Council of Medical Research says a total of 1,95,748 samples have been tested so far for COVID-19. Lockdown plays points put in Rongali Bihu celebration across Assam. Meghalaya, all the 60 MLAs decided to donate 10% of their salary for a year to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.